Today on Gear Review, we have a Fender 65 reissue twin reverb. Um, it's actually a very cool amp, even though um, compared to some of the other uh, amps I've done, um, doesn't have quite <laughs> that many features. Um, it actually has two channels, although the channels are not foot switchable, they're two separate channels, each channel having a basically high and low input, or as it's called, you have a normal channel with channel one being your high input, channel two being low, and then on the second channel, which is called the vibrato channel, you have channel one being your high, I mean not channel one, but um, input one being high and input two being low. Each channel also comes with its own designated bright switch. Um, the only difference between channels one and two is that channel two comes with the built-in reverb and the uh, tremolo circuit. Uh, and uh, Your controls for reverb are basically just level and then for your uh, tremolo you have speed and intensity and of course your intensity basically just being uh, a level. Um, the reverb will work without the foot switch just by turning uh, the reverb level knob up but the tremolo circuit will not work unless you have the foot switch connected uh, in the back. So when you disconnect the foot switch, you, you, you auto-defeat uh, the tremolo circuit. Uh, it comes with, it's an 85 watt amp, comes with four 6L6s, four 12AX7s, and two 12AT7s. Uh, it comes with uh, uh, two 12-inch Jensen, I think they're called um, CK10. I have to look that up. I'm not sure. 12-inch uh, speakers. Um, it also has an output in the back to run an external speaker cabinet in conjunction with the two speakers. Um, the amp does not come with an effects loop, so it does not have an effects loop. So any onboard effects that you run will have to run through uh, the front end of the amp. Of course, the uh, power and the standby switches are in the rear. But it's uh, just basically there is no gain circuit in the amp. Uh, the only way that you could, you know, possibly uh, pull gain out of the amp would be just to run the amp flat, wide open, with the uh, EQ set at 10 in the volume, you know, set somewhere close to there. Of course, at that particular point, you'd be too loud for <laughs> probably most places you would play. Um, but like I said, it's basically just clean amp. Uh, it's a good springboard um, for pedals. As you can hear, the reverb in the amp is very lush. You know, it's very full sounding. Um, tremolo circuit in. Also does handle uh, distortion pedals extremely well. Now, um, as I mentioned earlier, it is a two-channel amp, but each amp has its own individual. Um, input. Um, some amps that you see designed like this for each amp, uh, each actual preamp section has its own inputs. A lot of times if you input into one side or the other, the other side is defeated. That is not the case with this amp. If you plug into both inputs, you can actually use both inputs uh, simultaneously. Either uh, plugging your guitar into both and then blending the sounds or plugging two guitars in like, you know, like two guitar players playing through one amp. Um, the way I've decided to run it's a little bit different and I figured I'd show that to you too, which I think is, uh, comes in pretty handy. It's a pretty cool way to do it. I have a, uh, I have a Livewire ABY box. And 
basically the guitar signal runs into the ABY box and then the A output comes into, I'm using the low input of the normal channel and um, basically I'm running into my distortion pedals, uh, noise reduction pedal and a little bit of delay since on this channel you don't have any of the reverb there's nothing on this this amp except for just 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 a preamp section only no reverb no tremolo i run out of the b directly into the front of the amp into the um uh, high input um input one uh with the bright switch engaged and with the, with the reverb on but um if you run it that way you're able to treat it as a, a normal two-channel amp uh, and make the two channels foot switchable. So. Mm -hmm. simultaneously so actually if you wanted to blend your your distortion pedals with a clean signal at the same time see I'm going to turn the distortion down here's the clean Thank you. 